What's going on, America? I'm the right-winged angel, Oliver Mack. And in this video, we got to talk about Joe Biden's State of the Union address or whatever that was. That was a complete joke, a complete ugh, uh, bleh, all that stuff. I, I just, oh my God, I couldn't even watch. I told myself I was going to watch the whole thing so I could report on it, tell you guys what I thought about it, tell you guys, you know, the funny moments and the cringy moments and stuff like that. But I couldn't even... I, I couldn't even make the whole thing. I couldn't even make my way through the whole thing. It just, ugh. <sighs> there was so much lies, so much misinformation, so much deception, so much double standard, so much hypocrisy. It was just, it was too much for me to take. And, you know, there were a lot of people on the left who, took issues with some things that happened that the Republicans did, but they didn't take any issue with what Nancy Pelosi did when she ripped up Trump Trump speech. If you haven't seen it, I'll play you a clip. Here we go. This is uh, Lauren Bobart uh, making a comment to Joe Biden about the 13 U.S. soldiers who died in Afghanistan. Check it out. Many of the world's fittest and best trained warriors in the world Never the same. Headaches, numbness, dizziness. A cancer that would put them in a flag draped coffin. I know. One of those. Now, was that really that bad? Honestly, was that really that bad? She just wanted him to point out the fact that these 13 U.S. service members died in Afghanistan. Unfortunately, you know, he's not going to point it out because it's all his fault. The blood is on his hands. He owes the families of those soldiers a debt that would never be repaid. So, of course, he's not going to bring that up. But what's the harm in telling him, hey, don't forget about these 13 U.S. Ser servicemen? Because he was talking about people, uh, U.S. soldiers having to go home with the flags on the coffins and stuff like that. So we're just bringing up those people that they failed to mention. But was that really that bad? I don't think so. Little heckling going on? Okay, that's politics. So what? The left is outraged, by the way. But they weren't outraged by this. That was Nancy Pelosi ripping up the speech of the president of the United States State of the Union address. You can't get more disrespectful than that, ladies and gentlemen. But the left wants to pretend like they weren't cheering for that when it happened. They cheered. They called her a hero. They wanted to build a, I don't know if they really want to do this, but it was like they wanted to build a statue in her honor just for her ripping up a speech. That's the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen at a State of the Union address. And that's probably the most disrespectful thing that will ever happen at a State of the Union address. But when you're a Democrat, you cheer on things like that. If it's your side. Now, if there was somebody on the Republican side who ripped up, J uh, what's, what's his name? Joe Biden. If they ripped up Joe Biden's State of the Union speech, could you imagine the backlash from that? Could you imagine that? They would have called for his immediate resignation. But when you're a Democrat, you get to do whatever you want. And I honestly believe there would have been a lot of Republicans that would have condemned that behavior. So it seems like one side has morals and values and standards and the other side does not. The other side does whatever they want and they get away with it. Unfortunate, but that's what happens in today's politics. So aside from that, we, we had the typical Joe Biden gaffes. Joe Biden gaffes. At one point, he called Ukrainians... Iranians, come on now. How disrespectful is that? You can't even get the, the, the country of the people who are sitting there suffering 
uh, at the hands of, of Russian aggression. You can't even get those people's names right. Come on, Joe Biden. You didn't practice this speech or you just your cognitive ability is so far gone that when you see something, you can't even read it. You read what you want to you read or you see what you want to see when you read things. Apparently, that's what's going on. Apparently, that's what's going on. He had a moment. I want you to check this this clip out. He had a moment where I think his brain just stopped working. His, his brain just stopped working and he forgot his train of thought. Or, like I said, he's supposed to be reading a teleprompter. But he went on to something else that had nothing to do with what he was saying. So it made it seem kind of weird. Let's check it out. Because you can't build a wall high enough to keep out a, 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 a vaccine. Did you see that? Did you see that? He said you can't build a wall high enough to keep out the vaccine. Hmm. Apparently you can't because <laughs> Democrats are going to push this vaccine on anybody, everybody. So, yeah, there's no way to build a wall high enough to keep out this vaccine. I don't, <sighs> if you voted for Joe Biden and at this point you haven't come to your senses and said, you know what? I made a huge mistake. If you hadn't done that yet, I feel sorry for you. I'm, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to absolutely pray for you because I believe that you have some kind of uh, cognitive dysfunction that is just so blatantly apparent that I'm pretty sure it affects your everyday life. Or you're on some really, really, really good drugs and you need to pass on to everyone else so they get to experience this high where you're living in this dream world where everything that you believe makes sense, everything you want to make sense makes sense, even though the real world we know it does not make sense. If you're on that kind of drug, please let everybody else know so they can experience that as well. Thank you. But I, I just... I, you just can't believe it. You just can't believe some of the things that comes out of this man's mouth because he he does not know where he is half of the time. He does not know what he's talking about half of the time, but people still support him. There was a poll done. It was a CNN poll, of course, but 60 something percent of the people believe that Joe Biden uh, with this speech and his policies, the U.S. is headed in the right direction. Really? I'm pretty sure it's. 99% Democrats who took this poll. I mean, I don't know who's not a Democrat that will watch CNN, but, you know, it is what it is. But just to believe that Democrats who voted for him still support him after everything that he's done, after all the wrong that he's done, after the state of the country. I mean, the economy is in shambles. The uh, We have food shortages. We have worker shortages. We have all these shortages. We have gas prices that are through the roof. Inflation, crazy. And you still support Joe Biden? I don't get it. I really don't get it. But if that's what you want to do, if that's what makes you feel good at night because you believe that getting the man with the mean tweets out of office was more important than having a viable country, if, if that's how you feel, okay. I guess, but regular people who are of sound mind know that Joe Biden is probably one of the worst things that could happen to this country right now. We had a strong leader in Trump. We had a leader who had great domestic policy, who was able to talk to these these foreign leaders, these dictators, and actually come to some kind of common ground where we kept things peaceful. Joe Biden can't do that. He's unable to do that. He sent Kamala Harris to uh, to, to Germany or, or wherever. And just how, did that work? No, she wasn't able to do anything. She's not going to be able to do anything. She is a, 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 a non-factor as a vice president. And Joe Biden is a, a not, well, I'm not going to say a non-factor as a president because he can definitely be a factor, but it's going to be in a horrible way. So... Let's not forget that our country is in real trouble right now with this man as our president. 
Oh, well, not my president. This man as the president of the United States. We're, we're in real trouble right now. And I pray to God that he does not push us into some kind of World War III. Because that's not going to end well. I mean, if he controls pushing the button, he controls the, the nuclear launch codes. <laughs> oh, no. We can't have that. So pray for our country. Uh, I'm praying every day for our country because I don't want to see anything bad happen in the United States. I love my country. I love my country. But our current leadership sucks. Well, I'm the Right Winged Angel. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you could, please hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you know when I make a new video. I'm sorry, guys. I've been pretty sporadic with the way I've been making videos lately. Just a lot going on. But coming soon, real soon, we're going to have a video every single day. Maybe two videos every single day for you guys to enjoy. Because I know you like watching these videos and I want to give you more. All right. Catch you on the next video. Peace.